The kingdom of God, on the other hand, is a spiritual kingdom. And it is within every person who has been born again. Now, if you haven't been born again, you don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm not here to charge you. I'm just here to let you know what you're listening. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right? Uh, these people who have been born again have been made new by the grace of God. They didn't make themselves new. Their money didn't make them new. Their education didn't make them new. Their clothes didn't make them new. Their cars didn't make them new. Only the grace of God made them new. And uh, this is a gift from God. And it was made available in his first coming. Yes. When Jesus came into the world in the womb of Mary, yes. he brought with him the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Now this kingdom is concerned with the coming of this gift of God into a person's spirit. Mm -hmm. This may work out, this is going to get better. Come into a person's spirit. And it's to be shown in a person's life and in his or her behavior with a human being. If it's in you, you're supposed to show it. If it's in you. You can't tell people that you've got the kingdom of God in you if you still act like you used to act. Well, give me that a little bit later on. I want to make sure I don't get ahead of myself. Uh, but when the, when the kingdom of God comes within you, you change from the inside out. Hallelujah. You can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't be the same anymore. You think right. The kingdom of God uh, is the rule of God. Over our attitude. Oh, yes, yes. And tell me that you have the kingdom of God within you. And you still have your same old nasty attitude. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're fooling yourself. Oh, yes. You gotta fool God, you're fooling yourself. Yes. You can't tell me that you that you that you have the kingdom of God within you when your motives are still ulterior. You can't tell God that, that you have the kingdom of God within you when your desires are corrupt. You can't say that God is within you if you still have your own prejudice and biases. Can't carry them around anymore. Because when, when, the, when, when the spirit, when the, when, the, when the kingdom of God comes within you, everybody is one. There is no Jew or Gentile. There is no barbarian or Scythian. There is no male or female. Everybody is one. There is no room for this body. And you can't tell me that you have the kingdom of God within you and you still prefer the same old thing. You like your eyeballs and your cigars and all that other stuff. You can't tell me that. Oh, sorry. You say amen. Don't be quiet. You can't tell me that you have the spirit, but the, 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 the kingdom of God within you, and you hang on to these, these old destructive relationships. Yes, 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 yes. You know they're killing you. Yes, yes. But you're hanging in it. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I can't figure it out. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell me that you that you have the kingdom of God within you. Well, it's not important you tell me anyhow. You can't tell God. That you have the kingdom of God within you yes. if your behavior has not changed. Your behavior has not changed. And if you don't think you have something to pray for, it, then you, you know, just look at your behavior sometimes. Maybe. Yes. 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 Got a lot to pray for. All right. So let's take a closer look at this, this petition. Thy kingdom come. First note. That in Jesus' model for prayer, he directs that this be the first thing the believer asks for. First thing. Yes. That means how to have the Lord's name, 
The next thing you say is, thy kingdom come. What that means is that I'm praying to God that his kingdom come in me. In my innermost unseen heart. Mm -hmm. it, it's hard for us today. Because the world in which we live in, the Madison Avenue Ag Man, have mm -hmm. got us folks on the outside. Yes, yes. Saw the black voices on America online that they now have an orange lipstick mm -hmm. that we poor women are going to have to be wearing. You want to be fashionable. I'm waiting to see what you look like. <laughs> it always looks But the focus is on out there. Nobody talks about in here. But in here, even though you're looking good, you're dressing good, you're riding good, you're living good. It's an emptiness in here. You're like Brother P. Barnes that had a little substance. And when you take the left cracker and pack them, all you get is shell. You don't get no meat. And sometimes when trouble comes into your life, you discover that you are an empty Brother P. Barnes shell. Because that trouble that you've been into will crush you. Yes, yes. It will destroy you. Mm -hmm. And nobody can put you back together again except God. Right. And if you don't have God, you'll have nothing to work with. Okay. Each person must clean up his or her thing. Each person must clean up his or her desire. Each person must clean up his or her motives, yes. his or her likes and dislikes, mm -hmm. and those attitudes that we carry around. Yes. We, you know, we all carry them around. And we want to, if we really want to you know, get some joy out of this king, I don't know if I can't that. You know, you got to clean up all this stuff. It, it becomes baggage. Yes. Well, as, as they say now, it becomes an issue. Mm -hmm. yes. It's an issue. Yes. In our relationships, I mean, people, people try to, you know, try to establish some kind of approach on with us. Uh, can't get the first base because of the issues <laughs> that, we, that we're carrying around. Uh, we've got to kind of clean these things up. In order to live as a member of this kingdom, a person must seriously accept the will and purpose of God for his life as superior for all to all other wills and purposes for his or her life. That might be what your boyfriend says, or your girlfriend says, or your husband says, or your wife says, or your mother says, or your father says, or your, your brother or sister says. The thing you want to put your hand on first is, what does God say? I'm going to come back to that in a minute. I know that's a tough statement for me to digest. But yeah, that's what's required. We've got to put God first. We've got to put His will and purpose for each of us first. It has to be superior to everything else that we regard as, or that we change in our lives. Now this is hard, lifelong, spiritual work. 